Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, its base uh, AB is uh, 2 units and moreover this angle uh, ABC is uh, 45 degrees whereas this angle ACB is 105 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first thing. We are not supposed to be using the law of sines and cosines in order to calculate the area of this given triangle ABC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. We know our this angle is 45 degrees, this angle is 105 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees since the sum of all three angles is equal to 180 degrees. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, the base uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 2 units. And here's the height uh, CD of this uh, triangle. Let me label uh, this height uh, as lowercase uh, h. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, h in order to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, given uh, triangle. And let's make an observation. The base uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, x. The height uh, of this uh, triangle is lowercase uh, h. And moreover, uh, this uh, angle uh, with the base uh, is uh, alpha. And this other angle with the base is uh, beta. And now we can find the value of this uh, height h by using this uh, formula. h equals to base x divided by tangent of 90 degrees minus alpha plus uh, tangent of 90 degrees minus uh, angle beta. And now let's label, we can label uh, this angle as our angle alpha and this angle as our angle beta and this is uh, our x uh, value. And now we can see our angle alpha is uh, 30 degrees and our angle uh, beta is uh, 45 uh, degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. H equal to our x value is 2 divided by tangent of uh, 90 degrees minus uh, 30 degrees and then plus uh, tangent of uh, 90 degrees minus uh, 45 degrees as well. And now we can see 90 degrees minus 30 degrees is going to give us 60 degrees. And likewise, 90 degrees minus 45 degrees is going to give us 45 degrees over here. So therefore, we can write H equals to 2 divided by tangent of 60 degrees plus tangent of 45 degrees. And now we know that uh, tangent of uh, 45 uh, degree is simply 1 and tangent uh, of uh, 60 degrees uh, is uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we are going to substitute those values uh, over here. Tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3 and tangent 45 degrees is uh, 1. So therefore our h value turns out to be 2 divided by square root of 3 plus uh, 1. And now I can write this uh, denominator as uh, 2 divided by 1 plus uh, square root of 3. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now we are going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator by multiplying and divided by its conjugate. So let me go ahead and multiply by 1 minus square root of 3 and at the same time I'm going to divide uh, by 1 minus uh, square root of 3 as well. And now we are going to multiply the numerators and at the same time uh, I can multiply these uh, denominators as well. 
so therefore i can write uh, h equals to 2 times uh, 1 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 1 plus uh, square root of 3 times 1 minus uh, square root of 3 as well and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus uh, b square the difference of two squares if I call this as our a this is b likewise a and uh, b and then if we multiply this one by using this uh, identity this is going to give us uh, 1 square minus square root of uh, 3 whole square so that is going to give us 1 minus uh, 3 that is going to be equal to negative 2 so therefore if we multiply these denominators we are going to get negative 2 so therefore our uh, h value turns out to be 2 times uh, 1 minus square root of uh, 3 divided by negative uh, 2 and now we can see this 2 and 2 is gone and we have a negative sign over here so if we multiply this with the top that is going to give us a square root of 3 minus 1 so therefore our height uh, h turns out to be square root of 3 minus 1 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle abc now let's recall this area of triangle formula once again area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case our base is uh, 2 and the height uh, h is square root of 3 minus 1 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be equal to 1 divided by 2 times base is 2 times height is uh, square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 1 and now we can see this 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out so therefore the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be square root of uh, 3 minus 1 square units and if we put the area in uh, decimal rotation that is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.732 square units uh, as well so thus uh, after all the calculations and manipulations our area of this triangle abc turns out to be square root of 3 minus 1 square units and that is going to be equal to approximately 0 0.732 square units uh, as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye